Thanks again for joining us on the program TMI Tuesday. Of course, I have with me uh, Comrade Solomon uh, Okorua, who is the Senior Special Assistant to the State Governor on Migration. Comrade, many thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, we, we just don't have an idea of where we are on this whole Libya returnee. As it relates to Nigerians and what has been done to settle these guys in. Well, the last batch, when was that? Um, that was last week. Last week, yes. yes. Okay. We had about uh, 84, 80, 80, 80, 84 of them okay. in the those states. Eighty-four. Yeah. All in males, it, all females? All male, female, and few infants, about two infants amongst them. Wow. Uh, yes. So making a total number of uh, 3,165 since November. 7 2017. Hmm. So in less than five in less than five in less than five months we've been able to receive uh, in different badges a total number of three thousand one hundred and sixty fifty five of a dual extraction of Nigerian returnees from Libya. Okay. Now um, in, in spite of this, there's still this talk that there are those who are still heading on that on that route that way to Libya uh, hoping to get to Europe. Yeah. Doesn't that Yeah, well, this is a, these are people that their mind has made up. They want to go at all costs. They remember the pains they went through yesterday. They remember the cry they cried yesterday that, oh, come and bring us home. Please, we'd rather die in Nigeria than being slave in Libya. Now mm -hmm. they are in Nigeria. They're thinking of living again. So we are aware of those far that people want to go. But, you know, the government has a way of engaging everybody. And that is why we are letting them know that none of you are back. Be patient with us and see how you can fit yourself, fit yourself into the government policies and program. Yeah. The, the policy of the, of the government at times might be slow, but definitely it will get out to reach out to every, everybody, Body. especially the returnees. Okay. Now, uh, last time you see, you, know, you see, the, I just mentioned a while ago that the total number of people we have. Over 3,000. Yeah, this total number of people, and these are people that the government never planned for in the, in the first place. When the, when the man was making budget that they didn't last, last year for this year, he didn't envisage that we are going to have a total number of all the returnees coming in these droves into, into a those states. Okay. And look at the man now that is, that is, that, that is taking pay to, you know, this, uh, excuse, excuse them into government program because these are Edo citizens. He valued Edo people, and he said, now, let's see how we can accommodate these people. The returnees should be patient with us. They should be here with us, because right now, things, listen, things are not in that move the way we're going to go. Okay, let, let, let's just go to this point, which has to do with what exactly is being done to reintegrate these people into the society. Are there trainings going on? Are there grants going on? Are there stipends being paid to them? What are those activities that are going in specifically? Yeah, the one we've done to, so, so far is the issue of uh, the training of returnees. Mm. Uh, some of them has been given a uh, setup pack to go into their uh, uh, into their trade. I'm talking about those that were trained particularly in uh, soap making and uh, their soap making. Now, those that were trained in agriculture, mm. that were trained in ADP, December 1st, 2017. That's from November 22nd to, to December 1st in ADP. Okay. Those people were given land. The land is available now, but the modality for the funds yeah. is still now, and I believe by the grace of God, between now and a few days from now, yeah. they're, they're, those ones will also go into farming. Yeah. That is number one. Then, uh, the only, the, the, the number two, then the third one about is so those that were trained in there, uh, a bit making cosmetology and rest of them. So yeah. those are those those one hasn't been given starter pack. Okay. And we thank God that there are the now that the uh, Omonoban and the Kwa Bolo or by the second have also step up effort, you know, to support government's uh, program yeah. by you know, you know, uh, giving stipend to returnees. You know, this stipend issue is a thing that uh, we the government has promised for three months. And the government has ever said it will never pay the complete three months. Now we are Listen, uh, we, created, we created the data of all the returnees, and this data has been sent to bank. So we are looking at when, so when the money, the credit, the adjusted government approved for this type of mm. is uh, it's, it's out, then all these returnees, we, the money will hit their account. Guys. Okay, now well, before the money hits their account, what happens to them? Because we've heard uh, that many of them were stranded abroad, 
they were calling for help. They, they wanted to come back home. I mean, there was no need staying in Libya. And many of them came back home, if not all of them, with, with nothing. All right. So between when this money is approved and when it's eventually released, what becomes their fate in terms of survival, in your opinion? Yeah, in my opinion. And uh, this is that in my opinion, I, not, 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 not that is, we, we keep tap on them, we talk to them, we counsel them. What we need to let them know is to be patient. This money gets to you. It will get to you. It's your money, and the government has said we'll give you for three months. That is what we need. And I will, and I'm using this opportunity to also lend my voice to our governor, to business communities, to churches, to all the this and where many other people who has made it here in Nigeria, who God has blessed to support this program. It's only about a dosage program, government alone. There are, this is a holistic program, program that requires a holistic solution. Okay. People should call me because the insecurity to a one neighborhood is a threat to people in that neighborhood. So everybody should take advantage of this government program now to see how they can take five returnees, 10 returnees, 15 returnees, 20 returnees out of the streets. Okay. It's no longer a dosage government. Thank God that this you know, has shown good leadership in this, in this direction and he has engaged in the additional uh, proof payment of his, uh, for second for 74, 70, about 75 or 78 returnees just a, a couple of weeks, last week, last week here. So okay. these are steps in, 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 in the right direction. Mm. So if we have some multinational coming out to say, this is how many people I want, I want, I want to trade, mm. either in, a, in, a, in agriculture yeah. or in a, whichever skills, then it's, 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 it's welcome development. So this issue should not be left le to go to a state government at this time. And what we are doing, what the government have been doing over, the, over, the, over, over time has been so is a, is, a, is, a, is a project that the Dutch government solely funded. Okay. As we speak now, we've not gotten a dime from international agency, no IOM, no, uh, no EU, no Italian government. Okay. What the government has been doing is the money that is coming from the government's, government's coffer okay. by itself. Okay. So, and this, they, they should encourage the man to do more. All right. Uh, with this current effort, uh, in, in one sentence, uh, what, what is the future like for this whole uh, Libyan migration, Libya returnees, you know, uh, issue? A dusty government is, turning, is, try, is trying to change the mindset of Libya returnees into an advantage life, into, into job creating a, a, an, a, listen, an entrepreneurial a venture. Okay. You know, in the past, returnees used to be a stigma in the society. When you come, you hide and you go, in, you go into your hiding. You don't want to be associated and be oh. tagged returnees. Yeah. But now, people can boldly come and say, I am a returnee yeah. because of the way and manner the government has placed them. Okay. And this is a, this, that is, this, this is a thing that is highly commendable at this time because we remember the time we came in the past, the only time we can, we can have access to the government has at that time is through demonstration. But now <laughs> the man can come to you and say, welcome back to Nigeria. Okay. What do you want to do? Okay. What, how, how did you left in the first place? Do, how, now that you are back, what do you want us to do? How, how do you want to do? Isn't that an encouragement for more people to want to go to Libya? So that is an, that because is it's when you go, you come back, you get a handshake, and then what do you want to no, do? When right. you're back here, nothing seems to no, be going on. Something is going on in Nigeria. That is, you understand what is the, that, that, a, dusty, a, a dusty job porter. Okay. That I do, I do job porter. Okay. It's a job. That, 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 that I do job. I do just I do job but I is working. Those that do not have a job, I do not do that less that have no that do not have funds to go into trade. Go into that I do but I do, I do, I do, I do job portal. Make your make your information available. They will get across to you. All right, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. I've been talking with uh, Solomon Okodowa, who is the senior special assistant to the state governor on migration, just having an insight into what's new about all efforts to ensure that Libyan returnees are fully integrated into the society and into the system. And beyond that, to ensure that we stop this migration, this wanton waste of lives in the Sahara Desert and in the Mediterranean Sea. We have all of these youths back home and we plow them into some productive venture. But rest assured that the country and particularly the state will be a better place for us all to live in. Uh, Solomon, many thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you very much, sir.